technology used is a source where people are updating the future of Earth by using electronics. Just say the latest technology news can improve and change our world, so let's talk about it. Feature? You mean feature? Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I will not make a single mistake again. It's okay. You tried your best. You just didn't say it clearly. Please say it clearly next time, okay? Okay, let's not argue anymore. Let's talk about the first feature called artificial intelligence. So it is like the action of robots doing all the work rather than the humans doing all the work. So let's tell you a list with a lot of things and examples about AI, which is called artificial intelligence before leaving. Yeah, we need to tell you a list of stuff about artificial intelligence before going to the next. <sighs> So there is one called Alexa, which looks like this. Alexa is a product from Amazon, and we are going to show you pictures and videos of it right now. Alexa, what time is sunset? Sunset will be at 8.48 p.m. today. Alexa, can you tell me a Yo Mama joke? Your mother's so sweet. The dentist recommends talking to her only in moderation. <laughs> okay, you could see two questions that Ivan Latif asked to Alexa. Well, that kind of Alexa was called an Echo Show. However, an Echo Dot like this is much more popular than an Echo Show. Yes, Ben is right. Congratulations to Yes, Tom is right. Sorry to say that we can't say any more products, but this is because we have to get a little bit quicker and faster now because time is ticking. So, let's go on to one more example of what is artificial intelligence like. Okay. Okay, so there is one type of artificial intelligence and that is called self-driving cars. Oh yeah, I would like to know what is self-driving cars. Can you explain it to me, Tom? Okay, so let me tell you then. A self-driving car is a robotic car that does not need any driver and it can sense the entire environment all by its own with no human input. 
Okay, so probably it is a car that does not have any driver but still drives on its own carefully, right? Yes, it's slightly right, yeah. Moving on to our next topic called Growing 6G Networks. So probably scientists recently grew 5G networks. The bigger the generation of the network is, the faster the network will run. 5G is the fifth generation of the broadband cellular networks and it is considered to be running much more quicker because of its generation. That indicates how fast will the network run. So probably the G, which comes just right after the number, is the abbreviation short term for generation. So the bigger the number is, the bigger the generation, and the bigger the generation, the faster the network would run like as we just said. People created fifth generation networks which run 20 gigabits per second and support 100 times speed increase in traffic capacity. As we said, 5G is much more faster than 4G because people kept developing new network technologies and had moved from 4 to 5 which creates even faster networks. <sighs> So as we just said before, people keep developing new network technology, but each time somebody starts to create a new network generation, the duration takes much more longer to process because it requires a lot more of improving to keep creating new technology. So the decision that when 6th generation networks would be available? At the moment, 6G networks are expected to launch commercially in 2030, which includes even more spectrum sharing and keep making greater use of the distributed radio access network. So the bigger the generation is, the faster the internet connection would run and as same as the network. That engages or encourages web pages to load faster and to spend less time waiting for YouTube videos to load too. So having bigger generation networks mean that it would not take such a long time to load any of the content. Yes, true, true, right then. Now let's go and move on to our next topic called edge computing. of edge computing, but we are not sure if we can make you find it easy to know all about edge computing, but well, let's tell you then. So there is one definition why edge computing is better than cloud computing. <sighs> so the reason why edge computing is better than cloud computing is because cloud computing travels data further away to the clouds, whilst edge computing sends data closer to your device as they get taken to the edge of the network. So, the original definition is that edge computing allows computations to be carried out closer to data storage systems. So, it is data sending to data centers rather than floating off far, far away into the clouds. So, that is the easiest and simplest definition we could get for you because edge computing is a little hard to comprehend and explain. So edge computing just takes data to the edge of the network and data centers, not the clouds, because it would take a very long time to reach the cloud. So data does not need to travel further away to the clouds, instead it can just process closer to data centers or the edge. So this is the end of the video, so we are going to see you later in another video, but don't forget So please, please, please subscribe this beautiful Ayman Latif's YouTube channel and then we will like it. Yes, thank you for staying with us. I hope you had a lovely day. See you later in another video.